Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to my video. My name is Lou and I still have some tech. Hey guys, all right, let's get cracking on the mining performance for this, what I'm calling the Baby TI. This is the Ventus 2X Baby TI, and I've got it mining at 63 mega hashes per second. That's the average. Now, sometimes it dips down to about 62, sometimes it dips down to about 61. For the most part, it's pretty much stable at 63 mega hashes per second. This is also the same in Hive OS where it's even more stable at 63 mega hashes per second. All right, so I'm just gonna give you guys the business straight away, I'm not gonna drag this out. Let's talk about the wattage, okay? Let's talk about the wattage. So I'm doing this at 138 watts, okay? 138 or 137.9. So not exactly the lowest wattage um, in the world, to be honest with you. You could definitely run this card at like 120 watts if you want, and you're gonna, you know, you probably get a slightly lower hash rate. The power I have set at 69, and I'm using MSI after burner, by the way. So 69% uh, percent on the power settings. My temp limit is set to 86 at the moment. So it is unlinked. The core clock I've got set to zero okay so i haven't like kind of down clocked it i played about with it a little bit and at this point i'm not really too sure if it makes too much of a difference or not but i mean you can reduce this by up to 500 um uh megahertz on the on the core clock if you want and still get decent results hey that's my testing your testing might be different as always if it is please leave it in the comments so we can learn together and grow as a community and my memory clock settings are at 1500 it is pretty much maxed out i have seen no invalid shares whatsoever and that's great because you can max out the memory on this card and again as you can see i'm getting 63.06 62.9, 62.9, 62.9. So this this card is really stable at that hash rate. Again, 63 mega hashes per second on a 3060 Ti. Wow. You know, let's be honest. Average performance you're gonna get on a on a good 5700 XT is gonna be about 57, 58 mega hashes per second. You might get 59. You might even get 60. But I'm gonna say about 58 on a 5700 XT. I've seen other 3060 60 Ti is giving around 60 61 mega hashes per second. I've got another video on a gaming X Trio that was doing um, 60 to 61 mega hashes per second. To be honest, it's 60 mega hashes per second, so I don't get any invalid shares. But this baby right here, this 60% of the size baby TI, as I'm calling it. Uh, this is doing 63 mega hashes per second easy, okay? Easy. And it is consistent. I've checked it at the pool. Now, if you did want to drop the power a little bit, we, we can go ahead and try that out and see what that does, okay? So I'm going to drop the power from 69 to 62, okay? To 62, and let's see what happens when I put that power down. Let's see if it makes a big difference, okay? Uh, now, it's gone down to 62 flat. So it does make a difference there, 61. Maybe it's just gonna figure itself out. We'll have to wait and see. Let's see what the wattage is gonna be. Uh, just waiting for that to come back up and give us a number, 61.9. So it, it takes it down a mega hash, but you know, that's 124 watts. Whoo! That is, that is a big jump down. If you go down from 69 on the power percentage to 62, um, you will drop one mega hash from 63 to 62 flat at 124 watts, which is, you know, that's like 10 watts um, less just for one mega hash less. So that's up to you guys. I don't know what your electricity costs are like. I don't know if that's gonna make a big difference to you or not. Me personally, I'm gonna be running this card at 63 mega hashes per second, cause that's just badass. But you know, 62 at 124 watts 
is also pretty fantastic. So there you go, guys. I wanted to give you uh, the business straight into it, show you my settings, show you what I'm getting. I hope this helps you guys. So if you guys are looking at this and you guys are thinking, you know, this is a two fan card and you're thinking, you know, that you might get less performance, please do not let that deceive you. This is doing more than my gaming X Trio, which is a three fan card. I'm getting 60 mega hash per second. Uh, stable on that with no invalid shares with this one. I'm getting 63 mega hashes per second at about 132 watts and 62 mega hashes per second at about 124 watts Okay guys, so let's take a look at the Hive OS settings for this graphics card. My settings are a little bit different in Hive OS as they are to Windows. We can see here that the card is doing 63.27 mega hashes per second. Now, let me tell you, this has been up for 22 hours and this is extremely stable. It, it doesn't flinch at all in terms of the, the mega hash rate. I'm getting even better performance than I am in Windows. Now, as you can see also, this is being done at 125 watts as opposed to the wattage which I was doing in Windows, which was closer to 140 watts. I believe I was about 138 to 134 when I was getting 63 mega hashes per second. Now I've also reduced the core, as you can see, by minus 400 in Hive OS. And I've also put the memory to 3000, okay? Just to clarify, I've set the power limit I've set that to 125 watts memory. We've got 3000. The core is on minus 400. And that's it, guys. That's all the settings I'm using in Hive OS to get this consistent mega hash rate of 63.27 mega hashes per second. All right, guys. So in this video, we covered the Windows settings using Phoenix Miner to get 63 mega hashes per second and 62 mega hashes per second at 124 watts. And in Hive OS, we've done 63 mega hashes per second at 125 watts. Guys, if you did find this video helpful, please go ahead, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Please comment in the video. As you guys know, I'm running a promotion. When I get to 500 subscribers, I'm gonna pay three people 50 bucks worth of Ethereum. When I hit 500, so if you wanna be in a chance to win that, get yourself subscribed to the channel, comment and like this video. With that being said, guys, thank you for your support and I will see you in the next video.